Hi, it's Yeva. Welcome back to my channel. I just filmed the video and now I'm filming another one. Who am I? Call me Miss Productivity. <laughs> this particular decolator I've been itching to do. <laughs> like, couldn't wait. Uh, but I really wanted to document it and you probably can see that it's going to be bag related. <laughs> I love bags and I think I counted 22 of them here and I think 22 is a bit too much for anyone nobody needs 22 bags let's start with backpacks let me just quickly rearrange the bed situation here <laughs> right so um, these are my backpacks so I have four of them and I think I'm gonna let go of two of them <laughs> I'm going to keep this bag because this is the most recent backpack I got and I think it's gorgeous. It's just, I love the detail and I love the color. Most of my, you will see, uh, most of my uh, bags uh, tend to be brown because I kind of gravitate to, towards that color. I, the only trouble is that for some reason I buy black shoes and then I can't match my bags with the shoes. I don't know why it's happening. This is the next bag. This was a charity shop find. Uh, it's in brilliant condition, but I don't wear it. I think I'm gonna let it go. I think I've worn it once last year and only because I forced myself to. I have no idea why. It's a beautiful bag, but I just don't wear it. I think I'm gonna keep my collection of Harry Potter badges. <laughs> I think they're very cute, um, but the bag will go. Then I have this one, which I loved to death. I still love it, but the trouble is, I think it's on its last leg. Um, I'm gonna show you. For example, there's a rip over there. There's some staining at the bottom. Because it's such a light color, you can see all the damages. And um, I loved this one. I've worn it every day for many, many years. And I think this was actually the backpack that got me back into loving backpacks. I will definitely thank it for its service, but it's time to say goodbye. And then the last backpack is actually a convertible, so you can wear it as a, um, a backpack or a bag with a very long strap, which I don't often do. I, If I wear it, I wear it as a backpack. I love the shape of this one. I think it's very classy. Um, it's quite difficult to put it on because if you have something heavy in it, when you try to put it um, using one strap, as you can see, it slides. So you have to do a, like a acrobatics <laughs> to put it on. But I love it. Uh, I consider this one uh, my winter backpack. Um, I don't know why. Maybe because it's a bit sturdier material. That's also staying. So these were my backpacks. Now we're gonna look at straw bags. <laughs> so I also have um, four of them. I love a good straw bag. This is the one I couldn't, I just couldn't leave it. Just look at it. It's adorable. <laughs> it's basically a basket uh, with a strap. And then you have um, this fabric which you can tie and you can keep your stuff safely in there. And what's amazing is that I can actually fit my phone in there which is not very often with smaller bags, but it's just so cute. It's just, oh, I'm definitely keeping it. Uh, this is a straw clutch, so it doesn't have a strap. Um, it's just like that. I'm loving it. And um, hopefully this summer we will be able to go on brunches and things like that. I would probably carry this one with me because it's so cute. Can't you tell I love a straw bag? I really do. <laughs> Another one of my favorites. I think this was also a charity shop find. Let me just take out the strap. Da -da -da. Mm, it's adorable as well, don't you think? I love it. And now the sad part. I think I'm gonna let go of this one, even though I loved it. 
loved it loved it loved it so this one i also bought second handed and the previous owner um so because they lost one of the feathers they attached this uh big crystal over there it kind of reminds me of those crystals people put in in their windows at the moment it's very popular i would like one as well maybe i'll, I'll buy one <laughs> so it's just you hang them in the window and they catch light and they they bring some nice um colorful light into your room so yeah let's get back to the bag <laughs> so i think i'm gonna let it go because i'm not really reaching for it as much as i did before here's another category <laughs> of bags i would call it a small bag category i'm gonna show you the most gorgeous bag i own i think it's just beautiful look at it <laughs> it's just i love it so it has this short strap and there is a long strap as well and i'm definitely keeping it um for years and years and years because it's beautiful then there's this bag um so it comes with a long strap and i also love it it's gorgeous and i'm keeping it so it's very cute i love the color then we have this glitch <laughs> it's a difficult one i love it it's extremely cute but it doesn't fit my phone it used to so i had it for so many years when the phones were much much smaller <laughs> uh, but now the phones are quite big and i can't fit my phone in there but i just just look at it how can i say goodbye to it it's just so adorable uh, and then I have this clutch bag which is very fancy and this one still fits the phone so that's a plus <laughs> it's really nice material it's very cold to touch and it looks brilliant yeah this one is staying because you sometimes need a fancy bag and then i have this small bag which is one of my favorites to actually uh, take on walks because i can fit my phone and my keys in it and it's just on a long strap and it's just a tiny bag i do love a tiny bag um the next category I don't know if I can call it a category because these are very random but <laughs> these are just darker bags I would say so um, this one definitely staying because I still love it and I get a lot of compliments because it's not your usual bag I think it's so much fun to have a piece of accessory like this then I have this bag which I have so mixed feelings about so first of all, when I bought it, I had to replace it like um, two or three times because as you can see, it's all studs. Um, the first one I bought, um, as you can see, there's a button there. So that was broken. So I had to replace that. The second one um, was missing a lot of these studs over there. I believe I'm missing some on this one too. Yeah, over there. I don't know if you can see it, but they're missing there. It's not the end of the world. There's not a lot of them missing. One of my favorite things is that it actually um, has a little bag inside. So this particular bag is one of my favorites to um, take on events uh, because it's big enough for everything you need. <clears throat> but my mixed feeling is um, the actual inside of this bag. So you have this one clipped in. It's not clipped in at the moment, but it would be clipped in um, in there. So you could um, zip uh, the important stuff in. But then if you have something on the sides, it's basically still open through there and through there. So if it starts raining, it will get wet. Happened to me a multiple times. So it's not really the bag I reach for the most, even though it would fit all the outfits with my black shoes. Um, as I said, I tend to buy black shoes, but not black bags. I'm gonna keep it because I love the in insert bit of the bag. And here we go, another Desigual bag. Uh, you probably can already tell that I love the brand. <laughs> I have so many of them. Uh, this one I also consider a um, winter bag because it's very dark and also a sturdier material. I don't think it's leather, 
um, but it's much sturdier. So it has two compartments, the big one over there and the small one over there. And I'm gonna keep it because I still like it, even though I don't reach for it very often. I have no idea why, but um, it's still very cute. Cute. How many times do I say cute? Then I have this bag, which I didn't put into any category, which is strange, but <laughs> uh, this is one of my first bags. And I think I'm gonna keep it for years and years to come. Um, because it's just perfect. Um, it's not too big and not too small. It fits everything you need to fit in it. Brilliant condition, even after years and years of wear. When I first got it, I worn it every day. Everywhere I went to, it was my go-to bag because I loved it so much. I still love it. Before we go into my most difficult category, I'm gonna show you my tote bag. These bags are my favorite in summer. So these are very Korean style inspired bags. Um, two of them are corduroy bags. So this brown one, and then I have this huge one, which I love the size of it. And when you put it on your shoulder, it hangs really nicely because uh, it drapes very well, but it doesn't have any, any closures on it. So it has one pocket. But that's it. So basically it just becomes a black hole of stuff. <laughs> when you need to find something, you just do a lot of this action <laughs> to find anything. Um, but I love it. I love the color. I love that it's corduroy. This one is probably also going to stay with me for many, many years, the same as this one. So look at this one. It's just so unique. I don't often wear it because it's very loud, but if my outfit is very plain, I like to wear it with like a, a white dress in the summer and I think it's just so pretty. And I used to wear it all the time when I was younger, when I was at school, because I thought it was very cool. It is very cool. <laughs> I love it so much. It brings me so much joy. I would love to replace um, this uh, closing bit uh, with um, a nicer fabric as you can see this one is a bit questionable <laughs> isn't it but it does its job it, it closes your stuff in so that's good i would love to know its story where it was who made it <laughs> but i bought it second handed so i have no idea okay and now we're gonna go into the most painful category of all time <laughs> I think this sort of bag is called like a messenger bag. I will have to look it up, but I think it is. So I've been wanting a bag like this for many, many years, but I've been very specific about it. <laughs> so this one is my current favorite, but it's still not perfect, <laughs> which is so painful to say. <laughs> for it to be perfect, it, it would need to be a uh, much um, sturdier um, material so as you can see it's very soft because it's leather it's very soft and squishy which is not bad for some of the bags but for this particular style I would just love it to be sturdier for example even if it was this sort of thickness it would be so much better but well, it is what it is. And there's another tiny flaw I would say, is that when you open it up, it doesn't have the closure in this section. So um, I'll show you in a second. I have one that has a zipper there. Other than that, this one is, um, is beautiful and I just love it. And I will definitely keep this one until I meet the perfect match, I guess. <laughs> Then I'm gonna show you this one. As you can see, it is such a different material. It almost looks metallic. I think it's so cool. So that's the one that has a zipper in it. So it just looks like that. But how many of the same bag does a girl need? That's the main question, because look at it. They look identical. So with my very heavy heart, I'm gonna let go of so I have three of them. I'm gonna show you the third one in a second. I'm gonna let go of two of them, which is insane. But I haven't reached for those two in, I don't know, probably since I bought this one. 
that's the one I always reach for then. Thank you very much for your service, but you will have to go. And the third one is this one. So many things to say about this one. Let's start with the things I love. I love that it's very sturdy. So it is <laughs> almost like cardboard. I love that the Hogwarts emblem is embroidered. I think it's just stunning. I received so many compliments on this bag because it's perfect. It would be perfect if it wasn't not perfect. <laughs> so it is a Primark bag. So that probably tells you a lot. It's not very good quality bag. Even though I try to take care of it, I try to be gentle with it, there are some things that happened with it. So I'm not even sure if I will be able to pass it on to somebody else, um, which is unfortunate. So these bits over there, I don't know if you can see, but um, they will break eventually, which is very, very sad. I think that's the main, main problem of this bag, the, these bits, um, they, they're just gonna fall off. I think this was uh, my first um, Harry Potter merchandise I bought myself. I like it, but I don't like it. It's difficult, right? I mean, before filming this video, I was so set on uh, letting it go. So now I'm just sitting here and I don't know what to do. Because look at it, it's so cute. <laughs> I have to be realistic, right? I think I will have to let it go. It's time. I think I had uh, I had my fun times with it. And maybe I'll find a better quality Harry Potter bag, which I'm gonna enjoy for years. Those were my bags. Um, now I'm sitting like in a mess of bags. <laughs> I can I can show you the pile of the ones I'm gonna let go. It looks quite impressive. <laughs> So there we go. I'm letting go of these bags. So we have one, two, three, four, five bags. That's not too bad for a person who really loves bags. <laughs> so thank you very much for sticking with me with this video and um, I hope you enjoyed a tour of my bag collection and I would say it's borderline bag addiction. Feel better, I'm saying goodbye to five of them and I hope I see you soon and um, have a lovely day. Bye-bye.